2000. Conan 2000. I tell you what, look at the physique on this young man. And you add to that some tremendous wrestling skills and power, and you've got an unstoppable force. And to this point in the American Wrestling Federation, he is absolutely devastating. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the American Wrestling Federation, your lordship, let's remind everybody about that round system. Well, here we have three rounds for these belts. There are four minutes. There is a one-minute interval between each round. And at the end of each round, the referee will score this round on points. And there are also present two judges who sit ringside, and they also have their cards. We are able to get to the uh, referee's card, whatever he's made it out to be at the end of each round. So we can certainly keep you abreast as the match is continuing on. And Conan 2000 working on the arm now. Rick Thades whips him in the wrong arm. Good grief! Well, he came in in a very agitated state. He'd obviously psyched himself up for this match. It's an important one for him. He has got to meet Thames to keep up this incredible progress of his. Well, there's no question about that. And ladies and gentlemen, we need to touch on this. We mentioned at the outset Tito Santana healed up. He wants to get back into the ring today. Obviously, President Paul Alperstein of the American Wrestling Federation had to lift the suspension of Cowboy Bob Orton in order for this championship bout to take place. He, in fact, did that this past week due to the overwhelming response. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, standing by, let's hear from Paul Alperstein. Last week, fans, I suspended Cowboy Bob Orton from wrestling in the American Wrestling Federation indefinitely. However, due to your overwhelming response, to Tito Santana's request, I am going to lift the suspension of Cowboy Bob Orton, and Tito Santana will defend his belt this week against Cowboy Bob Orton. Well, my hat is off to Paul Alperstein. Very, very responsive to the fans, lifting the suspension of Cowboy Bob Orton. Good for the president. I disagree with you. I think the president, or Professor Einstein, has a very, very weak mind there. Oh. He, was, he was obviously guided by a lot of people who complained about him. Well, he's responsive to the fans. He's a fighting president. He won't hesitate Ooh, to get in the ring and mix it up if necessary. That man is a man to be respected. <laughs> Some respect, I must say. Mind you, he did remind me of this fellow Thanes here. What are you talking about? I think he's related. They both have teeth missing and need dental work. Don't get into the dental work thing for... Oh, your lordship. Continuing on, ladies and gentlemen, Conan 2000, working on Rick Thanes. What happened the Southern Posse? And once again this week, in my estimation, Conan looks very, very impressive. Oh, I have to agree with you. This is a very one-sided affair here. Conan has really taken this belt his way. And now Thanes is making some sort of a brief comeback here. But well, he didn't last long. Well, for heaven's sakes, he stood on the top rope and wrote him a letter. You've got to be quicker than that if you're going to take care of Conan 2000. He's a superb move there. And he's signaling to the crowd, your lordship, that this one is history. Let's see if, in fact, it's good. Oh, my gosh. How beautiful a reverse suplex there. Right on the top of the head. Why even count the pin? This man is done. Some really beautiful moves. The power, the strength of Conan 2000. Tremendously impressive, your lordship. This kid is destined for greatness in this sport. I think you're absolutely right now. Let's have another look at him. Here he comes in full of confidence and very agitated, as I said before. Look at this unbelievable backdrop there. Tremendous height he achieves. Thanks, crashing, but I'm here, but this is poetry in motion. Just look at that superb suplex. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Resnick is standing by with Rico Suave and the family. Good hope. Giving Norris the opportunity right here to recuperate. A little slow to get back on him. Oh, he turned him over. Look at that, Norris got him wow. rolled up. Two, oh, three. Oh, he got him. Wow, small package. Charlie Norris comes out the victor. He got the win over Steve. Do it to it, Cox. We're going to go to the back. We have an interview coming up, Angel, with the new tag team champions of the CWA, the Mercenaries. And then when we come back, we'll see Mike Davis in action. Yes, we'll. I hope he's not hurt too bad. He we'll takes see. on Sergeant Scott Braddock. With him and two great cruiserweights open up the program. No, I, 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 my close friend, like me. 
You, of course, Tony, you're number one on the list. <laughs> and Mike Tanay and that other, I mean, uh, Lee Marshall. Yeah. How about Okerlund? How about him? <laughs> I guess that's a no. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have a Starcade party and the demise of Hollywood Hulk Hogan at the hands of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Hey, speaking of demise, for the first time since here on Worldwide, since their return from Germany, do you know that Chris Benoit, a woman, are in the same building with the Taskmaster here tonight? Right, right now. Right now. I know, and who knows what could happen. I do know. It won't be good. We have been told, fans, ladies and gentlemen, that security is around Kevin Sullivan. Security policemen are in the back here at the Disney MGM Studios, making sure those two do not collide, that nothing happens outside of the ring. Oh, back elbow. Oh, a big forearm shot. Yeah, you're talking about something personal now to a man's life. And yes, you are. People handle things a little differently when it comes to that. Money's one thing, women are another. Oh, shutter block. But without women, you don't really need money, but if you got a woman, you need a lot of money. Well, you're right about that, Brent. Over the top of the kitchen. And once you find a woman with money that doesn't care about you. Look at that. Head scissor takeover. And outside goes JL. I'll tell you, watch this Kidman. He's going to make somebody seven take notice in a few months to come. Some manager could really rip him off, couldn't he? Boy, he could take this. I mean, he could take him right to the top. Kidman looks a little bit like Patsy Weber on Happy Days. You think so? No. Over the top. The world is awaiting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! You cannot be left out if you live in the Nashville area. We it's are your sorry. Fault. We are sorry, but the Nisswa Auditorium for this Sunday's event sold out. But what you have to do is you have to order this pay-per-view. You have to order this pay-per-view because it's probably the only time in your life as a wrestling fan out there that you will see Hogan in the ring against Rowdy Roddy Piper. And like you were saying the other day, what a heck of a treat for the kids, for the parents to buy this for them. Let them open up all the gifts under the tree. And then on the 29th, tell, hey, I got one more gift for you. You're going to watch Piper take Hogan apart on pay-per-view. Here, here. Here, here. Not here, Nashville. There, there. There, there. Oh, there. Goes JL. Billy Kidman. I may even wear my Levi tie that night. Please don't. I won't. Billy Kidman is showing us a lot. And so's JL. Just dropped him on his noggin that time. On the back of his head. I'd go for the pin here. Maybe I'm old school. I don't know. But he wasted time and he, he took himself out. Kidman. Do you know who JL is? No. The guy with the mask. Oh, would you? I haven't fallen for that in a couple of years. Shooting star press. He's got him. He does. What a way to start off worldwide. Kidman. Take it, Brain. I'm going to go back here uh, in, the, you know, in the back. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, well, I don't need him. I can handle this by myself. Watch this and get ready for this replay. And here we go for this matchup here on WCW Worldwide. Look at the quickness from Eddie Guerrero. Very quick. You would be that quick too if you had three bowls of his mom's chili. Want to remind the great fans, we have some great events coming up in 1997. Monday, December 30th, this coming Monday, we're going to be in Knoxville in the Knoxville Coliseum for our fans there. In Nashville, the Minnesota Auditorium, the event is sold out. And don't forget, we're going to be in the Martin Coliseum on Friday, January the 3rd, our first date in 1997. WCW comes to Little Rock, Arkansas. This cheetah kid is one tough customer. And he's got ears. Yes. Little itty bitty ears. They're right up on top of his head. That's where ears usually are. No, usually they're on the side of your head, not up on top. Well, if you're a cheetah, they're on top. <laughs> he's not a cheetah. What's his name? 
Cheetah Kid. Excuse me. <laughs> Sidebar. <laughs> oh, you're not going to put me in a bad mood. You're not going to get me out of the holiday mood because I know that finally the man who is a fighter, the man who has been one of the most determined, gutsiest men the sport has ever seen, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, will finally. Oh, whoa, what a move! Get his moment in the sun this Sunday against Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You know, it's not always the biggest man in the neighborhood or the biggest man in the fight that wins it. I mean, Hogan's a big, huge man, correct? Correct. Piper's a big, tough guy, too. Yes, he is. Hogan's bigger than yes. Piper. Physically, he's, he's bigger. But Piper is meaner. Piper is more determined, and Piper wants that Hollywood recognition. Piper wants the world to know he's the only man that can beat Hulk Hogan. Because Hulk Hogan's never beat him. And, and I never thought I would say this about Hulk Hogan, especially if you talk, talk about Hulk Hogan a year ago. But I never thought I would say this, but Piper has the bigger heart. The Texas Hangman. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. We're coming back with more great action. Hey, all you greasers, you all know me. I'm Angel Baby. Not only is my boyfriend back in town, but he's coming up next. <laughs> it's Angel Baby. Now, Angel, the last couple of weeks, all you've been talking about is it's your boyfriend's back in town, but so far, no one has seen your boyfriend. Is it Tom Cruise? Of course not. He's right. too peachy keen. He's got a little curl, my boyfriend. Tom Cruise isn't all that. So, so Brad Pitt. <laughs> He's so stupid, that red. Are your friends in your biceps? Well, how about David Hasselhoff? Oh, Listen, David my man Hasselhoff. is more Ask man me, than I that. I know who it is. My man, he can sing and he can dance. Well, Angel Baby, I, I don't mind telling you, a lot of people, myself included, don't really believe there is a boyfriend, exactly. that you don't really have a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. There he is. I do no, have a boyfriend, not. and I'll prove it to you. Whenever you want to know who my boyfriend is, all you got to do is go down to the soda fountain and pull my man out, and you'll see. He's the most awesome man in the American Wrestling Federation. He rocks, he rolls, he's totally cool. Me, Bob, the Boop Bob. You have no idea. You say I, I can it. find out, and this crowd can find out who your boyfriend is whenever I want to know. Well, then I want to know right now. Who's your boyfriend? There Where is the white hair? Yeah, that's I'm trying to brother. I'd like to introduce to you the most awesome man that ever stepped foot into the squared circle.
What's that, Honky Tonk? It's not a gold record, I have that. It's not a platinum guitar, I have that. It's not wine, women, and everything else that goes with life, because I have that. I don't have a belt around my waist, Ken Resnick, and I want a championship belt. I want championship matches, and I want them now. Now, if you got nothing else to say, let me sing my song. Be my guest. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the one and only Honky Tonk Man. We'll be back. Well, I tell you what, if anybody is going to set the American Wrestling Federation on its ear, he has arrived courtesy of Angel Baby, the Honky Tonk Man. You better believe it. Listen to him playing. Superb. Wait a minute now. It's the Honky Tonk Man. I'm cool. I'm cocky. I'm bad. Thank you very much. Well, You've been a beautiful honky.